I am at 63% DoorDash Dasher acceptance rating, and this is the video that you and I are going to see a gold status order, getting that AR to 70%, and I only need like mm, 40 more orders to get platinum status, the highest level, well, level two for gold, level three, the highest level for platinum on Dasher Rewards. I've done, this is my fifth shift on silver, see how the orders are. It's a Saturday, nice weather, it should be decently busy, and then we'll compare how are the gold offers, because you get priority to the highest paying offers on silver, and then more priority, so I might be missing out on good stuff, on gold, and then obviously the best orders, the highest priority on platinum. And I didn't have to wait long, like 15 seconds, I got the first order, it's a high paying offer on silver status, $9, 3.7 miles, a four item shop at a spot that I've been going to a lot on these silver shifts, the Dollar General. Four minutes and 40 seconds, but then add on like three minutes for checkout. That's kind of a real thing, you know, on those shopping delivers. Like timer done, shop in like three minutes, let's say. But if one person gets in front of you, that's like three minutes right there, right? Oh, that one done, easy. This one, do I love it? Absolutely not. Have I ever shopped here before? I have not. I've not done a shop and deliver this Target on a Saturday with good weather. It's gonna be absolutely swamped, but at least it's just a few items. But it's a high paying offer going across the river to Millvale, another area that's like, you know, it's not bad. It's just not in the uh, city center, but I am increasing by 1% it seems, at least I still am at 64% right now. So this should theoretically bump me to 65%. All right, so shop time, what took me a little bit longer? Two things of water, corner of the store, as they do, you know, they shove grocery in the back here at that Target. And then, oh, a board game and Uno. So it was life, you know, board game, it was life. And it took me an extra second because I didn't see regular life. Let me know if you're, if you're the customer, I feel like you wouldn't want this, but it said, okay. The only thing that I saw was the game of life Target edition. Uh, there was nothing else. There was no other UPC codes. I saw nothing else. And I scanned it. I was like, well, and it took me an extra like two minutes. I was like, is it that one? I, I was looking around. I scanned it. It gave me a green check mark and said, okay, yep, that's it. So I guess that's all they have at uh, Target if you want the game of life. So I was sitting there a bit right across the bridge in Lawrenceville, nothing. And you know, what do I try to do when there's nothing for over 10, definitely 15 minutes? I just move around. So I needed to get some gas anyway, so I drove just right up the road. And you know, we always say it's like not really a thing, but it certainly feels like a thing. If you're just still, it feels like you don't get order requests. And then as soon as you move, they send you order requests. So I got this Dash Mart, nothing, uh, really impressive here, but it's good for the acceptance rate. I'm at 65%, so this should be 66% after this one. I mean, dollars to mile, it's not good. The margins haven't been good. This is gonna be another shift where I'm just trying to increase that AR. Ah, yes, nothing like a 24 pack of water, a really heavy bag, and a big thing of paper towels, delivering 15 minutes for just over a dollar a mile. Feels good, doesn't it, folks? Little update for you, 66% acceptance rate, which I think is now 67. <laughs> Pittsburgh potholes, my gosh. Because of this stacked order right here. It's a high paying offer as well. 950, 2.7 miles. That's a good dollars to mile ratio actually. And that's on silver. Uh, tea spot and then a pizza spot. And then it looks like the same customer, which is good. Uh, I think we can all agree that it is absolutely incredible when you walk into that pickup spot, a restaurant, let's say, college campus right here in the middle of uh, University of Pittsburgh, and there's just a line to the door. There's people using the kiosk, putting their drink in. This is a boba spot. There's people putting their orders in, and there's two bags on the counter. Uber Eats, nope. And then the single drink, is mine for DoorDash and my customer. Can you imagine? Isn't that the worst feeling? You're like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be waiting here for 20 minutes. And then you realize like, it's ready. I don't have to wait in this crazy line. That one took a while at the pizza spot, but I saw something for the first time, and I guarantee I'm not the first person to see this. 
So let me know how common this is. It said you can earn an extra dollar by taking a picture of the menu. And then it says, take like, I don't know, single photos, just so you can get like everything in one picture, then take another segment if you have to. So I'm waiting at this pizza spot. You know, they have those kind of trifold or whatever menus. I took like, well, six pictures, yeah. Third, 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 flip it over, third, third, third. And it just added an extra dollar to my delivery. Have you seen that? And if so, or even if not, do you like that idea? I love that idea. I mean, a super easy extra dollar on a delivery just to take a picture of the menu. Now, I'm kind of thinking a few things. You might be too. Why though is it A, you can comment, because I'm not sure either. A, is it a secret shopper thing internally? Like, well, we know restaurants charge more than like on the Dasher, well not the Dasher, on the DoorDash platform than in restaurant. So DoorDash is like, oh, we can compare. We can just look at the menu. B, is it to update any pricing, I guess? If this restaurant's opted in to just match their in-house pricing, I don't know. Or C, other, because I don't know what else it could be. Is it price checking something? Is it an internal audit kind of thing? Is it correcting, I don't know, matching prices or whatever it is? What do you think that is? As long as it's not negatively affecting the restaurant, I mean, why would it? Let me know, but I mean, it's an easy dollar. I'll take that. I'm just wondering how frequent that is. DoorDash, thank you. A single restaurant pickup, can you believe it? $13.25, 4.4 miles, ending in a good destination, just happenstance, like good luck. Ending in a good spot, high paying offer, silver status. I'm at 67%. So this will uh, end me at 68 or so. Okay, I had it happen again. The address in the Dasher app is incorrect. It was such and such extension where the road should have been just such and such. Same, you know, name, just not the extension where it sent me six minutes away. And then I got a message that said, I'm delivering or ordering for a friend. Give them a call. This is so weird. So I gave them a call. Customer is very nice. And they're like, yeah, it sent you to the wrong location. I'm like, yep, they sent me to an extension. I'm at such and such. Awesome. I know where that's at. Again, I'm six minutes away. Now, remember, I had this happen on my last shift. I don't know why it happened again, whatever. Then immediately document with support because the Dasher app is going to see you drive into a different destination, okay? So instantly say there's an issue with the address. You just go through the bot. It said, what happened? The address changed. Are you, did you already deliver or didn't you? And I said, no, I haven't delivered yet. Are you headed to the new address? Yes, I am. Do you need anything else? Or do you have everything you need to make the delivery? I have everything I need. And it says, great, continue with the delivery. So it should do the same thing as last time that when I try to make the delivery, it'll say you're not at the correct address and then go through the prompts again. It's a little bit different that says, no, I'm at the correct address. Customer requested I deliver here. And then the customer said, hey, when you get here, I'm gonna be in a meeting. So go up the driveway. I'm at like the white door in the basement apartment. Oh, 8.30 PM Saturday meetings, you know? Look, for you, all you want to do is document, I'd say three ways, with the bot AI taking screenshots of like every process here and then documenting what happened when you try to make the delivery. Cause again, it's gonna say you're at the wrong destination. See, DoorDash is like, hey, we understand that you went through that headache of doing this uh, double drop error. So we're gonna reward you with a $24.75 9.9 mile order. I know it could have been a little bit less because it's going south, but Howley, it's right up here. I'm basically here already. I'm parked. I'm just going to walk across the street there. That's a huge order. I think this will get me to 69%. I like the cash flow, 24.50, but I kind of thought it was three plus dollars a mile or at least three. It's 250. 250 is good, but uh, so I'm going to be tied up for the next 22 minutes after that wait time. Well, this'll do it right here this order will unlock gold status and it is another far order my gosh it took me some time just to get back in here it's 11:50, 8.4 miles for a double wing stop i mean it's up here it's now it's not that far away because i got into a 
better zone here, but I'm at 69%. This should bump me up to 70% AR gold status. Finally, five hours. Okay, so this should be my last one. So let me show you the numbers here. Not good, per usual, if I just accept everything here. I had a few one-off orders, but it's the time that kind of, you know, wasted time not getting orders. And then some community miles. That's gonna take a hit on the hourly. And then I'm looking at the mileage. It's gonna be, I'm guessing, a dollar 65. That's my guess per mile. After I unlock gold status, I'm gonna show you gold status and I'm gonna let one more request come in because I'm hungry and tomorrow or the next day, whenever, I'm gonna take a full gold only shift and you know keep it at gold status. So make sure to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, all I do here is help you make money in different side hustles. Check out yourdriverfromight.com. You have a starter guide, earnings tracking spreadsheet, and more courses and resources to help you in most any side hustle. Okay, um, all right, DoorDash. So I finished that order and I got gold status, folks. Gold status, 70% acceptance rate. And then they immediately sent me this one that I didn't want to take. Fine, I said one order request after getting gold status. And then they said, oh, you're gonna drop down to 69%. Uh, I guess the uh, rolling basis doesn't keep me at 70. So I immediately fell back down to 69%. I had it for three seconds remember i said okay you know one order i'll take a look at one order request and then pretty much immediately after i declined that one they sent me another one i don't want that one i'm gonna get some food here it's been five hours and that dropped me down to 68 percent but i unlocked gold you saw it but can you at least drop a like on this video for five hours of silver dashing and three seconds of gold dashing but we hit it but anyway the next shift, we'll get that back up to 70. I won't basically even start the shift until I'm at 70. And we'll do a full shift on gold status to see is all this pain and suffering worth it.